let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for our guardian this evening. We bless your holy name for your love, for your kindness upon our lives. Be there exalted, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we are here to listen to your words. Lord, come and speak to our hearts in Jesus' name. So we are going to the session of choruses. Take control, Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Sing, amen, amen, rejoice, amen, amen. Glory be to the Lord, amen, amen. Glory be to the Lord, amen. Let us sing, amen, and rejoice, amen, amen. Glory be to our God, amen, amen. Be to the Lord, they may, may praise the Lord. Brethren, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Him. Praise His holy name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Brethren, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise His holy name. Praise the Lord. I believe the Bible. I believe the Bible. I believe the Bible is the word of God. I believe the Bible. Is the word of God. Hallelujah. I believe the Bible. Is the word of God. Hallelujah. I believe the Bible. I shall not be, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that planted by the waters. I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved just like a tree that planted by the waters. I shall not be moved, I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that planted by the wall. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee, Lord. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee, Lord. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee, or oh, my Father. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee, nearer to thee, O oh Lord. Lord, draw me nearer, nearer to thee, draw me nearer to thee, Lord. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee, hold oh, my song every day. Lord, my songs every day. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee. I love him better every day. I love him better every day. Close to his side, 
I will abide. I love him better every day, better every day. Better every day. Take close to his side. I love him better every day, better every day. Better every day, Lord. I will go, I will go, I will go and tell them Jesus is alive. Will you go? I will go. Jesus is alive. Will you go? Will you go? We you go We you go We you go It is a great thing to serve the Lord it is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Walk in the light of God. Oh, walk. Walk. Walk in the light. Oh, walk. Brethren, walk. Let us walk in the light. Oh, walk. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Walking in the light of God. Oh, walk. Walk. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. I am promising that I will serve him till I die. I am on on the battlefield for my Lord, for my Lord. For oh, my Lord, I am on the battlefield for my Lord. I will serve him till I die. I am on the battlefield for my, for my Lord. To field for my Lord, for my Lord. The battlefield for my Lord. I am promise him that I will serve him till I die. For my Lord. For my Lord. For my Lord. I am promise him that I. On the battlefield for my, for my Lord. Until I die, I am on the battlefield for my Lord. Give me that. 
Give me that old time religion, Lord. It's good enough for me. It was good for Paul and Silas. It was good for Mary and Martha. It was good for Paul and Silas, Lord. It's good enough for me. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Sweet is the promise, I will not forget thee. Nothing can molest or turn my soul away. Even though the light be dark, the night be dark within the valley, just beyond is shining an eternal day. How can I show my gratitude to Jesus for his love unfailing and his tender care? I will proclaim to others his salvation that they may accept him and his promise share. Trusting the promise, I will not forget thee. Onward will I go with songs of joy and praise. Though earth despise me, though my friends forsake me, Jesus will be near me, gladdening my days. When at the golden portals I am standing, all my tribulations, all my sorrows past, how sweet to hear the blessed proclamations. Enter faithful servant, welcome home at last. I will not forget thee or leave thee. In my, in my hands, I'll hold, hold thee. In my arms, I'll hold thee. I will not forget thee or leave thee. I'm thy redeemer. I will care for thee.
to continue with our Bible reading. But before we read, shall we just have a moment of prayer? Father, we are asking that you will open our eyes of understanding as we read your word today. We are asking that relevant passages that really speak to our present needs and problems, spiritually and physically and materially, you will impress upon our hearts. Be with us, enlighten us, instruct us, teach us as we read together now. In Jesus' name, I pray. We'll continue for the reading now. Chapter 15 And the Lord spake unto Moses and to Aaron, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When any man hath a running issue out of his flesh, because of his issue he is unclean. And this shall be his uncleanness in his issue. Whether his flesh run with his issue, or his flesh be stopped from his issue, it is his uncleanness. Every bed whereon he lieth that hath the issue is unclean, and everything whereon he sitteth shall be unclean. And whosoever toucheth his bed shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the even. And he that sitteth on anything whereon he sat that hath the issue shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the even. And he that toucheth the flesh of him that hath the issue shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the even. And if he that hath the issue spit upon him that is clean, then he shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the even. And what saddle soever he rideth upon that hath the issue shall be unclean. And whosoever toucheth anything that was under him shall be unclean until the even. And he that beareth any of those things shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the even. And whomsoever he toucheth that hath the issue, and hath not rinsed his hands in water, he shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the even. And the vessel of earth that he toucheth, which hath the issue, shall be broken, and every vessel of wood shall be rinsed in water. And when he that hath an issue is cleansed of his issue, then he shall number to himself seven days for his cleansing, and wash his clothes, and bathe his flesh in running water, and shall be clean. And on the eighth day he shall take to him two turtle doves, or two young pigeons, and come before the Lord unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and give them unto the priest. And the priest shall offer them, the one for a sin offering, and the other for a burnt offering. And the priest shall make an atonement for him before the Lord for his issue. And if any man's seed of copulation go out from him, then he shall wash all his flesh in water, and be unclean until the even. And every garment and every skin whereon is the seed of copulation shall be washed with water, and be unclean until the even. The woman also with whom man shall lie with seed of copulation, they shall both bathe themselves in water, and be unclean until the even. And if a woman have an issue, and her issue in her flesh be blood, she shall be put apart seven days, and whosoever toucheth her shall be unclean until the even. And everything that she lieth upon in her separation shall be unclean, everything also that she sitteth upon shall be unclean. And whosoever toucheth her bed shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the even. And whosoever toucheth anything that she sat upon shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the even. And if it be on her bed, or on anything whereon she sitteth, when he toucheth it, he shall be unclean until the even. And if any man lie with her at all, and her flowers be upon him, he shall be unclean seven days, and all the bed whereon he lieth shall be unclean. And if a woman have an issue of her blood many days out of the time of her separation, or if it run beyond the time of her separation, all the days of the issue of her uncleanness shall be as the days of her separation. She shall be unclean. Every bed whereon she lieth all the days of her issue shall be unto her as the bed of her separation, and whatsoever she sitteth upon shall be unclean as the uncleanness of her separation. And whosoever toucheth those things shall be unclean, and shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the even. But if she be cleansed of her issue, then she shall number to herself seven days, and after that she shall be clean. And on the eighth day she shall take unto her two turtles, or two young pigeons, and bring them unto the priest, to the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And the priest shall offer the one for a sin offering, and the other for a burnt offering. And the priest shall make an atonement for her before the Lord for the issue of her uncleanness. Thus shall ye separate the children of Israel from their uncleanness. 
that they die not in their uncleanness when they defile my tabernacle that is amongst them. This is the law of him that hath an issue, and of him whose seed goeth from him, and is defiled therewith, and of her that is sick of her flowers, and of him that hath an issue, of the man and of the woman, and of him that lieth with her that is unclean. You have just listened to the Bible reading, and we need to take whatever we have learned to the Lord in prayer. Will you all rise up, please? Talk to the Lord in prayer. You've seen a commandment, a warning, an example, an instruction to obey, a promise to claim, pray for grace that you will do as you have learned in the word of God. In Jesus' name we pray.
something strange happened in ancient history, in biblical times. A highly placed king of a popular nation got afflicted with an evil spirit, which left him in a disoriented state. A wise subject who had understanding of the times recommended that music minister, that a music minister...
be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. India beckons. I. From injustice to indomitable by Christ. And. From narrow minded to nurturing milk from Christ. D. From dissolution to a decisive decision for Christ. I. From idleness to independence through Christ. A. From abject poverty to affluence possessions in Christ. As GCK this November offers you full redemption through Christ. From India to the world, bringing salvation, solution, and liberty through Christ for all. Every yoke it will break. All the shackles it will shatter in Jesus' name. November 23, 228. 2023, 1600 hours GMT daily. Full redemption through Christ for everyone, everywhere. Ministers, church workers, and professionals will gain speed as they will receive the great fundamentals of ministry in three special days, November 24, 27, and 28. And on Saturday, young people all over the world will be elevated at Impact Academy. It will be the divine creation of heroes from zero. You follow, you go. As I grow, you follow, you grow. As I glow, you follow, you glow in Jesus' name. A life-changing experience awaits you at full redemption through Christ. Live at GCK locations across the globe. And live, their satellite and all our social media platforms. The man of God anointed international evangelist and convener of the gck pastor dr wf kui will minister christ with power along with all the ministers from india this is gck it is the gospel to every creature waiting for you if you, you are receiving don't move now you are receive your miracle come right to my left hand side by this pulpit quickly quickly at the far back in my left side in my in the middle by the upstairs please check if you don't check you will not know check up look at that thing that was troubling you before it's no longer there you don't need to say pastor how do i know the pastor have prayed and god have answered the prayer check up once you have seen it done, just walk out here, shout praise the Lord, and then the people of God will rejoice with you. Come and share your miracle with us. Your testimony with us. Perhaps yours was done yesterday or day before or other previous programs that the pastor have held with us. Now also come out quickly. Don't waste time. Don't waste time. Tonight is a great night. Quickly, 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 come by my left hand side. Let's start interviewing them right now so that we get them ready for the testimony. God bless you. Come out quickly, come out quickly. From the far back, come out. Let's encourage them. The pastor has prayed and the miracle is there. Quickly, quickly. God bless you. We are waiting for you. We are waiting for you right there, my left hand side by the pulpit. If you have got you your miracle, just say praise the Lord. The people around you, all of us, will rejoice with you. We are waiting for you. Come out quickly. Those online, also check up yourself where you are there. And then when you see your miracle, then you have to let us know. Via WhatsApp, message or record it and send quickly to the media team. And then we also air your testimony. We are waiting for you. Come on quickly, those of us. I can see some of them there now. Please, let's. I read them in, in order of the striking testimony. Quickly, quickly, quickly. 
while we are waiting for them to come out, can you give us some singing, some celebration? Quickly. Are you ready? Let's come out quickly. Let's come out. Let's interview them and arrange them so that they come and give their testimony. Tonight is your night. Say, tonight is my night. The way you are saying it, you are not convinced. Say, tonight is my night. Yes. As you are seated there, the power of God has been released. It's walking all through the camp. And it will reach you. It's walking in your life already. Before the alpha location, we have some testimony online while they are preparing them. Please, let's listen to some of those testimonies. The power of God is indeed working wonders as we are hearing of great testimonies online. We begin at Canada. We go to Canada live now where you have these pictures coming to you live. The power of God that has worked wonders in the life of this 72 year old woman she was healed of 10 years curved spine she had been coming to church and then she attended this gck ongoing and by the power of god she raised her hands for the altar call gave her life to christ and after the final prayer all the problem of curved spine disappeared and she says that she's now completely free we'll be following up this testimony and giving you more details praise the lord is that the much you can say praise the lord you know how far canada is from here god has reached there with his power and it will reach us here as well Please. We proceed to Jigawa State now for a testimony. Jigawa Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, my name is Sister Ngozi Ofodile from Duse region, Jigawa State, Nigeria. I want to testify of the Lord's goodness unto my daughter who is not here. During the global crusade, she received her perfect healing. When the man of God prayed, since 2019, she had been complaining bitterly on bladder pains. We are thinking that the pains were just ordinary pain, but we don't know that it's serious. Until this global crusade, she came back home from where she's serving. And uh, the team brought her down. And she went to see a consultant. She was scanned, and they proved that it's ovarian cancer. So, I told her to believe God when she was crying, weeping. Why she having this kind of problem? I told her to believe God. 
that global crusade miracle is real. She should believe God that everything done there is real. When the man of God prayed, she will receive her healing. We should believe God. The man of God said all the sickness. He is using the name of Jesus against every sickness. And that was how she received her healing. The team break in, inside her because they said if the eggs that were not shed break inside her without uh, the doctor's intervention or whatever, that she will die. And she was panicking. So God did the surgery himself. The following day, she started seeing a menstrual period. The side that used to be very, very okay. strong like stone before. She touched it and she said it's soft now. And since then, she's been free. No more pains. She doesn't complain again. No drugs. So, as if it is not enough, when they brought the result, after three weeks of the global crusade, the result read negative. That they did not find anything in the blood. I told her, yes, that is God. Prayers have neutralized everything. So that was how she got her healing, her freedom. It's the Lord. Ovarian cancer, cancelled. Everybody say cancelled. We want to listen to live testimony from Alpha location here. Please let's be smart about it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My name is Pastor Paul Joseph. I am from River State, Okrika, precisely. Recently, three years ago now, I was, I had received the call of God and I received instruction precisely to come to Ogonitai to start the ministry. I came for to go in Noah precisely. We started the ministry. And as we begin to do the ministry, it was slow. We keep praying for one year before we begin to see some persons. As we are about to break forth, we begin to see some setback. So we continue to pray again in order to break forth. It was so tough, it wasn't an easy matter in the land of Ogoni, an Okrika man in the land of Ogoni. I ought to pray. We prayed until, by the grace of God, we begin to break forth again. Because even those coming, you could not even make them to stay in the ministry. Finally, something happened. Five months or more than that ago. In the church, in the altar, where the seat was, rats began to pull there. I thought it was a rat pool. My wife will sweep it out every day, every midnight. The pool will be there. I didn't have time for it. Finally, on where the pulpit is, by the right side of the pulpit stand, I begin to see the pool. At midnight of o'clock, as you come out, you will see the pool there. What is pooing on the altar that they are ministering? I don't understand. One day, I kept rat poison. When I kept rat poison, that was where I knew that it was not a rat. When I came out, I saw these bats on the altar. It flew out. It did not eat the poison, so it did not die. So I would keep praying. In the midnight, if I came out around one to the altar, I find out that the pool is already there. So I now watch, begin to do watch and pray. By 12 o'clock, I'm already there so that they will not be there. If I miss that 12 o'clock, the bat will already be there. Let's go to the point. Now, to the, the point. testimony is like this. Whenever I'm coming out, I will carry broom or stick in order to fight this bat. I could not catch it. Finally, I learned that WF Kumui, the Papa is coming. And that is where I'm coming from at the same time. By the grace of God. I said, he's coming because of me. I must attend. I was able to attend pastor's conference on the 28th, on Friday. When I came in, I came in very early and I sit in the position that I want to see his eyes. I want to see his face because there should be a magnet to him, with him at the same time. So, when he came out on the podium, Immediately his eyes and my, and my eyes was the first contact that we have. And the power of God struck me and I began to weep. In that weeping, he began to minister. After his ministration, something happened. My body was weak to sit down. And the 
the another person came up and took the mic. We are praying. And as I sat down, something happened. The person, the thing that was troubling me, I just fell into a trance and something caught the bat inside the bag. When the bat, the, when the bat was caught in the bag, I came out of the trance. The bat struggled to leave, but they could not leave. That Friday till now, I have not seen the bat. And I want to give God the glory. I have battled and all. Praise the glory Lord. To God. The miracle is taking place. Let's bring them out quickly. Let's bring them out as God is still healing people. The next one, uh, choir, please. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, choir. Go ahead, brother. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. My name is Uebe Sonny Bess Bariko from Bionu Banga, Banga District. I'm a soldier. What happened is that the year 2000, I was going to walk. It's happening there again. Bring them out. I was, I was going to my working place. Along the line, I got accident. My kneecap got broken. So my kneecap jumped up to the laps. My leg is not all that good again. I cannot move. They carried me from the road where I got the accident to military hospital, Port Harcourt. As I was there, they cannot treat it. They cannot do anything. They sent me to one hospital. They said they will cut it. They will remove it. So my brother now took me out and ride undertaking. Took me to one native place. They treated it locally. I went back to brother, my unit. what happened? Now, my leg is not all that good. I cannot move. They sent me to Dala Hospital. They said I should bring 100,000 or 1 million. When I was there, they cannot treat it again. There was no money. They took me back home. Yesterday night, the other night, as I was here, the man of God, Sir, Doctor, Pastor, W.F. Kumuyi, give us the final statement concerning my leg. The same that time the Lord visited me. My leg now has no problem. But for Jesus, I can stretch. I can stretch. You can see him there now. Is no, there is no noise again. You can it see. It has become normal. What doctor Praise the Lord. What, clap for Jesus. Is that a much you can clap? Please, brother, before the next testifier. Okay. Just very brief. Our brother had a left patella fracture that was healed here day before yesterday after the man of God's prayer. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please, before the next testimony, we want to recognize some VIP here. Please, if I don't pronounce your name properly, you pardon me because I can't speak your language. Uh, Honorable Dikin Akia Fubara, former commissioner for transport, River State, representing. Please, you are welcome in Jesus' name. Thank you very much, sir. You are welcome. We also have uh, Sir uh, Fab Fabora J, PDP candidate governorship. You are all welcome, sir. Is he around? All right. Thank you very much. We have uh, Emmanuel Dosen, principal, Borabi Memorial Secondary School, Bori, and also Peace Emmanuel, wife of the principal. You are here. You are welcome. You are welcome. Thank you very much. Is it the school we are using now? Oh, wonderful. You are great. Thank you very much. You made us proud. Right. Brother, you can go ahead. Church, please, hello. By the grace of God, I am saying, my name is Don. You can see people rejoicing over my there. My name is Don by Badon. Look I, at it over there. I worship at the Father Bible Church. A as a more John, more, more shout for Julia. Jesus. Praise the Lord. All right, brother, you can go ahead. Praise the Lord. My name is done by Badom. I worship at the Father Bible Church as equally regions. As I come here on Thursday, I will have a serious chest pain. Anytime I cop, I will see something like blood in my mouth when I pop for glance. As the last player of the man of God, that on first day, I will see my head in church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's clap for Jesus. 
The way you are clapping, look local. Clap for Jesus. Look at miracle taking, look, jubilation in the car. Let's bring them out quickly, 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 quickly. The next testifier. I told you that tonight is explosion night. Shout explosion. Praise God. My name is Emmanuel Mwaboso. I'm from Mechi. I worship at a Great Grace Bible Church. On Friday, I enter here. So, as Jesus started to pray, he said we should lay a hand anywhere we have our pen. So I lay hand for my rib here. My rib, they pay me. As I lay hand here, Jesus pray finish. The, the, the wound get, get up. I didn't see the wound again. Praise the Lord, you will not see it again. Yes. That pain is gone. Clap for Jesus. The way you are clapping, look local. I say clap, global clapping. I, the more you clap, the more miracle. Look at all that miracle happening there. Look at the dancing. The jubilation in the camp. I told you, choir, can you give us a little song? Praise the Lord. Okay, hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Baba, we come tonight. We're asking you to release, release your power. power. You release the anointing. You release the authority. And you bless all your people in Jesus' name. We pray you'll break every yoke. You'll destroy the works of the devil. You'll set your people free. We pray, Lord, both old and young, men and women, everyone will experience the power of God tonight. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Thank you. God bless you. You can sit down. Mark chapter 1. I'm reading from verse 1. Mark chapter 1, verse 1. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The beginning of glad tidings. Something coming to you new, something coming to you from heaven, from the Lord Jesus Christ, about Jesus, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophets, behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, and make his path straight. It's talking about what Christ came to do here on earth. And Mark reports it in a special way. He reports it in a peculiar way. And he wants you to understand that when you come in the presence of Christ, you're coming in the presence of the great king. And there's good news coming from that king. Power coming from that king. Authority coming from that king. Anointing that breaks every yoke coming from that king. In verse 7 it says, and preach saying, There cometh one mightier than I after me. The latchet of whose shoes I'm not worthy to stoop down and unloose. 
He's saying if you think I'm mighty, there's one mightier coming. If you think I'm great, there's somebody greater coming. If you think I'm holy, there's somebody holier coming. He's talking about Jesus Christ. The one higher than angels. Higher than the prophets. Higher than the priests. Higher than the kings of the earth. Mightier, more powerful than anybody that ever lived on the face of the earth. He says, I'm talking about Jesus. I'm talking about the Son of God. The one that has power. Greater than every other power. Might greater than every other person was trying. He says, I'm talking about Jesus Christ. And I bring the gospel, the good news. And the good news will become yours tonight in Jesus' name. In verse 11 it says, And there came a voice from heaven saying, Thou art my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. The father now God, the father is speaking from heaven. He's saying that is my beloved son. He is like no other that ever came. Have you heard about Moses that brought water out of the rock? This one is greater. Have you heard about Moses that made all the chariots of Egypt to sink in the Red Sea? This one is greater. Have you heard about Elijah that brought fire from heaven? This one is greater. Have you heard about angels that came from heaven? And when they let miracles happen, this one is greater. This is my beloved son. I have sent him to you to save your soul, to heal your body, to deliver you from oppression, and to set you free. Look at verse 27. In verse 27, we're talking about this Jesus. It says that they were all amazed. They were all surprised. It was like we never saw anything like this before. Jesus comes to your life tonight. What you have never seen, you will see. It says and they were all amazed. In so much that they questioned among themselves saying. What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority, he commanded even evil spirits, unclean spirits, and they do obey him. You know, the Father God in heaven has spoken about him. John had spoken about him. All the people now they spoke about him. They said, What power is this? What authority is this? What great manifestation is this? One word. Evil spirits came out. One word. Your sickness will be healed. One word. Your mountains are taken away. One word. Your soul is saved. One word. Translation comes to your life. It tells us in verse 34. And he healed many. And he healed many. Many that were sick. Of diverse diseases. And he cast out many devils. And he cast out many devils. Who is going to be a partaker of the miracle tonight? Power tonight. You know, if you are there not as a spectator. If you are there not just as somebody looking at other people. And you say, I am here for something. Somebody there, I am here for something. He's going to work miracles in many lives tonight. He's going to touch many lives tonight. And while you are there. And he sends the word of power and authority in your life. Something will happen in your life right there. That person standing there, something will happen. Power will break every yoke in your life tonight. That's why I'm talking to you tonight. 
on experiencing the power of the king experiencing the power of the king you know my brother my sister anytime we just say jesus we don't know who we are talking about anytime we're talking about jesus we mention his name in prayer we say in jesus name we mention his name in preaching can i talk to you about jesus we talk to people about jesus on the phone when we mention that name we don't know we're talking about we're talking about the king we're talking about the king of glory jesus christ is the king of glory when he enters your life when you enter his kingdom the glory of heaven will come your way he is the king of all the earth think about the king of a community think about the king of your tribe think about the king of the whole nation but is the king of all the earth is the king of all power kings of authority kings of power but this king we're talking about is the king that has all power all power in heaven all power on earth you put everything together all the powers that angels can boast about all the powers that men and women can boast about all the powers that anybody on earth everybody on earth put everything together more than that he has the power over all the earth number one i said is the king of glory psalm 24 in psalm 24 i'm reading here from verse 7 lift up your head so ye gates be ye lift up ye everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in he's talking about that coming king if you look at psalm 22 it talks about him and the shepherd that's the good shepherd that gave his life for the sheep if you look at chapter 23 the lord is my shepherd he's still talking about him that's a great shepherd that is taking care of his people when you come to psalm 24 he's talking about the god of glory the king of glory is a glorious shepherd and he says in verse 8 who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle every battle of your life tonight he will solve every problem of your life tonight he will take away open the gates and let the king of glory come in in verse 9 lift up your head so ye gates even lift them up ye everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in And in verse 10 he says, who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the king of glory. That king of glory is coming to your life today. You see, when you are told, if you want to have Jesus as your savior, where are you? Raise up your hand. We're telling you, the king is calling you. And the king wants to enter into your life with all the power of the king authority of the king and the might of the king and when you have him i'm telling you the greatest thing has happened in your life in psalm 47 verse 7 verse 47 verse 7 it says for god is the king of all the earth for God is the king of all the earth and then the almighty God has given all authority unto Christ God the creator God the father of all eternity he called his only begotten son I'm the king of all the earth I transferred that to you 
and that's why now Jesus Christ is the king of all the earth and as the king of all power that's why he said all power in heaven on earth is given unto me and when he comes to your life tonight weakness will vanish away sickness will vanish away infirmity will vanish away everything the devil has done in your life he'll pack everything and sweep everything away from your life Hebrews chapter 7, I'm reading from verse 2. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 2. To whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all. And then he says, first, being by interpretation the king of righteousness. And after that, also the king of Salem, which is the king of peace. Look at verse 3, it says, Without father, without mother, without descent, having neither beginning of days nor end of life, but made like unto the Son of God, he abideth in priest forever continually. Is the king of righteousness. You know, there are many people they are searching for righteousness. They look for righteousness in River Jordan. They look for righteousness in uh, River Niger. They look for righteousness in River Benue. They think, if I wash with that water, they say, that water will make me righteous. There's no righteousness there. The king of righteousness. He invites you and he says come and when that king of righteousness takes over your life unrighteousness will vanish away guilt will vanish away all your defilement will vanish away he is the king of righteousness he is the king of peace many people don't have peace in their hearts they don't have peace in their family they don't have peace in their community but jesus christ the king of glory jesus christ the king of all the earth jesus christ the king of all power jesus christ the king of righteousness he is the king of peace you saw it there in chapter 7 verse 2 of hebrews and he's saying if you want this the peace of God in your soul, the peace of God in your mind, the peace of God in your family. Jesus is the Prince of Peace, the King of Peace. Revelation chapter 15. I'm looking at verse 3. Revelation chapter 15. And we're reading here from verse 3. It says in verse 3, and they sang the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty, just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. The father has committed all that into his son. The father, the creator, is the one that is the king of all the saints. Saints past, saints present, saints future, saints in eternity. But Jesus said, everything that belongs to the father belongs to me. He has committed everything to my hand. He is the king of the saints. And I'm talking about his power tonight. I'm talking about the one that is what is power. His touch is power. His presence is power. His name is power. His word, everything he does is power. And you are going to be connected tonight. Everybody shout connection. You are connected tonight to the king of glory 
connected tonight to the king of all the earth connected tonight to the king of all power connected tonight to the king of righteousness connected tonight to the king of peace to the king of saints is a king of great inheritance is the king of great inheritance i'm looking at some two i'm reading from verse six i'm looking at some two i'm reading from verse six yet have i set my king upon my holy hill of zion there's a father talking about the son yet have i set my king upon my holy hill of zion I will declare the decree the lord has said unto me thou art my son with a capital s thou art my son this day have i begotten thee ask of me ask of me ask of me and i will give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession is the king of great inheritance and he wants you to become part of that inheritance tonight that he will say you are mine you belong to me and everything he has as a king of kings and the lord of lords everything will belong to you as well Tonight, we're looking at experiencing the power of the king. Experiencing the power of the king. Anybody there going to have the connection? What is he there? What's the man there? What's the woman there? You're going to have connection tonight. Uh huh. If you are not self satisfied, if you are not saying, I'm all right if you say jesus the king has something that i will get tonight that power will turn your life around that power will break every yoke in your life tonight is going to be a new day in your life i said tonight is going to be a new day in your life let me talk about myself today i said today I said today will be a great day in my life in my life I'm going to get a new connection preacher are you there I'm going to get a new connection bishop are you there I'm going to get a new connection lay reader are you there I'm going to get a new connection a Christian walk in a church I'm going to get a new connection a newcomer you came here today praise the lord i said praise the lord i said praise the lord power from heaven the power of the king the power from glory the power that is greater than all the powers of the earth connection 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 is coming upon your life in jesus name your blind eyes will open your limb legs will rise up and walk hunchback will vanish away tumor will vanish away impossibility will be possible that mountain in your life i command come out in jesus name experiencing the power of the king there are three things we're going to talk about number one preparation for the arrival of the king he's coming he's coming he's coming your way i said he's coming your way preparation for the arrival of the king number two the privilege of adoption by the king there are many kings that might be merciful many kings that might make provision for people this king we're talking about he invites you and he adopts you into his family the privilege of adoption by the king number three the power and the authority of the king the power and the authority of the king 
number one. Tell me, number one. Tell me, number one. Shout it out, number one. Preparation for the arrival of the king. Are you getting ready? I said, are you getting ready? Somebody there, are you getting ready? The king is coming. The king is coming. The arrival of the king. Preparation for the arrival of the king. Uh, look at Mark chapter 1. Mark chapter 1. I'm looking at verse 3. The voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare ye. Prepare ye. Prepare ye. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. Make his path straight. Then you find that important word. That you find that indispensable word. If you are going to receive the king, you will not just sit back and say, I am so and so. You will not just sit back and say, I have read the Bible before. You will not just sit back and say, I'm a religious man. He says, get ready. Prepare. The king is coming. The king of glory is coming. The king of power is coming. The king is coming to your house. I said the king is coming to your house. You prepare. How do you prepare? For Samuel chapter 7. For Samuel chapter 7. And I'm reading here from verse 3. Prepare. Prepare. Everybody shall prepare. In 1 Samuel chapter 7 verse 3. And Samuel spake unto all the house of Israel. And Samuel spake to all the house of Israel. Saying, if ye do return unto the Lord with all your heart. Then put away the strange gods. And Ashtoreth from among you. And prepare. And prepare. And prepare your hearts unto the Lord. And serve him only. And he will deliver you out of the hand of the Philistines. It says, if you want to come. If you want to make way for the king. You want to prepare your heart. Because he's saying, I'm standing at the door. And then I'm knocking. If anyone hears my voice and he opens the door, I will come into him. I will sup with him and fellowship with him. It says that preparation will make you to abandon every idol. The idol of twins. The idol of making money. The idol of iron. The idol of wood. The idol of candle. The idol of incense. The idol of worshipping tradition. It says, if you really want the king, Calvary has cancelled all the candles. Calvary has cancelled all the incense. Calvary has cancelled all the worship of tradition. Calvary has cancelled all the idols. All the idols of twins every kind of idol and he says you are preparing your heart you will abandon every idol bye bye idol i'm going to the king bye bye evil i'm going to the king bye bye tradition i'm going to the king and as you do that you prepare your heart you prepare your mind you say lord i'm ready the king will come to you today I said the king will come to you today. Where are you there? I said where are you there? God bless you. You see many of you, you say I'm born again. Ah, but you know the idol. If there is a football game. And then there is a kind of revival service. If it is at the same time. Ah, I cannot miss that football game. That's an idol. 
anything you exalt above the name of God. You exalt above the worship of God. That's an idol right there. Some people, it's the idol of gambling. All the money you get. I want to make money. I want to make money. The love of money is the root of all evil. And then you gamble. Because you want to reap where you have not sold. That's the idol. But the king is coming. You want to get connected to the king. And the Lord is saying, if you will abandon your idol, you will abandon your gambling. Marry Jonah. All those evil things to put in. Eat your body. So you can be strong. And be like a man. So you can fight. So you can do evil. That's your idol right there. And the Lord is saying. The king is coming clear the way. The king is coming prepare your heart. The king is coming sweep all those things away. Everything that is not according to the word of God. The king wants to come into your life. And he will come. I said he will come. And then you will clear the way. You say you are born again. And then there are things in your life. Competing with the love of God in your heart. It appears you cannot live up that. You cannot give up that thing. You cannot abandon that thing. You serve your own opinion more than you serve God. Your own ideas more than you serve God. I like this. I like this. You serve that more than you serve God. The king is not preeminent in your life. The king is not prominent in your life. Is that opinion? Is that idea that is prominent in your life? And you say today I prepare the way. Lift up your heads O gates. And let the king of glory come in. Who is this God of glory? It's the Lord God in heaven. Is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. And he says prepare. 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 We're looking at Job chapter 11. Job chapter 11. I'm reading from verse 13. If thou prepare thine heart and stretch out thine hands toward him. He said, you need to prepare your heart. You see, he's telling us over and over. Verse 14, if iniquity be in thine hand, if iniquity be in thine hand, how can iniquity be in thy hand? When you shed blood with your hand, iniquity in your hand. You commit abortion, iniquity in your hand. You steal with your hand, iniquity in your hand. You put leaves and other things together to make juju, iniquity with your hand in your hand. You are violent and you are beating people and killing people, iniquity in your hand. It says, if iniquity be in your hand, when you commit adultery, you hold another person's wife with your hand. Iniquity in your hand. When you are a drunkard and you are taking that thing with your hand. Iniquity in your hand. It says, if iniquity be in your hand. It says, put it far away. Let not wickedness dwell in the tabernacle. For then thou shalt lift up thy face without spot. Yea, thou shalt be steadfast and thou shalt not fear. If you prepare yourself and you allow the king to come in, because thou shalt forget thy misery, your sorrow will pass away, your suffering will pass away. The king is coming, the king of glory, the king is coming, the king of all the earth, the king is coming. The king of all power. The king is coming. The king of righteousness. The king is coming. Is the king of peace. The king is coming. Is the king of saints. 
the king is coming is the king of great inheritance and he says prepare 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 all that iniquity all that sin you throw them away if you do that tonight tonight today today something definite something miraculous something supernatural i see you there is coming your way there i said it's coming your way there you come out clear and clean come out of that dirty water come out of that dirty lifestyle come out of that evil worship and say lord i come i prepare my heart i prepare the way that the king will come in number two the privilege of adoption by the king the privilege of adoption by the king i'm looking at mark chapter one in mark chapter one i'm reading from verse 16 mark chapter one we're looking at verse 16 many people don't understand they don't know what happens when you say i've decided to follow jesus no turning back no turning back they don't know the deep meaning of that the world behind me and the cross before me the cross before me the world behind me they don't know the deep meaning of that i have decided i will follow jesus till the end though all oppose me still i will follow they don't understand i will follow i will follow i will follow mark chapter one i'm reading here from verse 16. now as they walked by the sea of galilee they saw simon and andrew his brother casting a net into the sea for they were fishers and jesus said unto them come after me something was going to happen come after me their destiny was going to change come after me the past was to be forgiven come after me a new life was to start come after me adoption into the family of god was to happen now many people don't understand you want to follow jesus come come the seek is just simple but when you take that step heaven will be looking at you when you take that step heaven will put down your name when you take that step your name will enter to the book of life immediately when you take that step you become a member of the family of the king adopted into the family adopted into the family there are some people they don't understand i'm born again i'm born again and i tell them tell me what happens when you were born again and i raised up my hand and then i walked to the front and somebody there prayed for us i said after that what happened said hey, i come to church i'm telling you something tonight when you give your life to jesus christ angels will rejoice because of you satan will cry because of you evil spirits will cry because of you evil powers will put their hand in the mouth they will say they regret because something great will happen to you tonight i'm looking for somebody i said i'm looking for somebody that is going to have that connection tonight what do you see there i said what do you see there connection connection you will not go back home the same when you come to christ you are adopted into the family of god come here after me and i will make you to become fishers of men and straight away and straight away and straight away it says they forsook their nets and followed him have you noticed two words there number one forsook number two followed you cannot just follow you must leave the past behind you you must burn the bridge behind you 
you cannot be connected to the king if you are still chained to satan you are still connected with evil spirit you are still connected with witchcraft you are connected with familiar spirit you break that one you forsake that one you cannot be in the congregation of the saints why you are still connected with parts of darkness connected with evil spirit connected with sin connected with your gang of criminals you break that one you destroy that one you destroy that breach you say i've decided i will follow jesus because i forsake my past if you've been coming to church i'm following christ i'm following christ you didn't forsake your old girlfriend you didn't forsake the beer parlor you didn't forsake the dancing hall you didn't forsake the herbalist you did not forsake the evil spirit you did not forsake the witchcraft uh -uh, you are not following they forsook they forsook you'll forsake your stealing you'll forsake your gambling you'll forsake your lying you will forsake that adultery you'll forsake that fornication they forsook and they followed what happened after that what happened after that mark chapter 10 mark chapter 10 open your bible and i'm reading from verse 28 mark chapter 10 verse 28 look at it what it says peter began to say to him lo we have led we are forsaken all and we have followed thee we have led you must leave something don't tell me you are following christ if you have not left something your net you will forsake that the bottle you will forsake that the matcher to use in cutting people you will forsake that that evil sin in your hand the talisman you will forsake that and the alcohol you will forsake that you must leave something to follow christ there's nobody who is so clean nobody who is so pure that i'm just following christ i didn't have to forsake anything no all i've seen i come short of the glory of god all the sins of your life all the deception in your mouth you leave all and you follow what happens then i said what happens then because peter said look we have left all we have forsaken all and we have followed thee and jesus answered and said in verse 29 verily i say unto you there is no man that has left house or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and the gospel's sake but he shall receive an hundredfold he shall receive an hundredfold now in this life in this time houses brethren sisters mothers children lands with persecution and in the world to come eternal life because you are adopted into the family of god you are adopted into a family of the king look at romans chapter 8 romans chapter 8 i'm reading from verse 15 adoption the privilege of adoption into the family of the king the privilege of adoption by the king romans chapter 8 romans chapter 8 i'm reading from verse 15 it tells us ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear fear has gone the fear of judgment is gone the fear of death is gone the fear of evil is gone 
the fear of Satan is gone. And the fear of evil people, all that is gone. But ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. And the spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children then heirs, heirs of God, joint here with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. Adoption. You come into the family of God. And your destiny changes completely. Number one, the arrival of the king. Number two, adoption by the king. Number three, the authority of the king. The power and the authority of the king. This king has power. Power to forgive. This king has power. Power to save. This king has power. Power to deliver. This king has power. Power to bind the devil from your life. This king has power. Power to set you free and to make you go in peace. Mark chapter 1. Mark chapter 1. Power. Connection with power. Power. Glory. Anointing. The breaking of yoke. Set him free. The captive. Somebody there is free tonight. I said somebody there is free tonight. Miracle will come your way. In Mark chapter 1. Mark chapter 1. I'm reading here from verse 23. Mark chapter 1 verse 23. And there was in their synagogue. There a man with an unclean spirit. And he cried out. Saying let us alone. What have we to do with thee? Thou Jesus of Nazareth. And thou come to destroy us. I know who thou art. The Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him saying. Hold thy peace. Come out of him. And when the evil spirit had turned him and cried with a loud voice, it came out of him. The power and the authority of the king. That power is coming your way tonight. It will knock the hand of the devil out of your life. It will destroy every work of the devil out of your life. Look at verse 32. And at evening when the sun did set, they brought unto him all that were diseased, and them that were possessed with devils. And all the city was gathered together at the door. Verse 34. This is going to happen to you. Verse 34. This is what you'll go home with. Verse 34. This one was written concerning you. Verse 34. Fulfillment in your life today. Manifestation in your life today. Performance in your life today. Verse 34. And healed many that were sick of diverse diseases. And he cast out many devils. And he suffered not the devils to speak because they knew him. The power has come your way tonight. Mark chapter 7, I'm reading verse 37. Mark chapter 7, verse 37. And they were beyond measure astonished. They were beyond measure surprised. They were beyond measure amazed. Saying, he has done all things well. He has done all things well. He cleanses the leper. He has done all things well. He opens the eyes of the blind. He has done all things well. He makes the deaf to hear. He has done all things well. He makes the paralytic to jump out of the wheelchair. 
He has done all things well. His name is Jesus. Is the King of Glory. His name is Jesus. Is the King of all the earth. His name is Jesus. Is the King of all power. His name is Jesus. Is the King of righteousness. His name is Jesus. Is the King of peace. His name is Jesus. Is the King of saints. His name is Jesus. Is the King with great inheritance. His name is Jesus. He is the King of my life. He is the King of my life. He is the King of my life. What are you there? He is the King of my life. What are you there? I have no other king. I have no other director. I have no other manager. I have no other person. He is my king. He is my savior. He is my Lord. His name is Jesus. Prepare the way. Prepare the way. A connection is coming right now. Connection. 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 You prepare the way. And then you'll be a partaker. A partaker of the privilege of adoption. Adoption by the king. And then the power and the authority. The power and the authority is coming your way. I said it's coming your way. I said it's coming your way. I'm looking for the person I'm talking about. I'm looking for the person I'm talking about. I'm looking for the person that will have the privilege of adoption. Privilege of adoption. I'm looking for the person that will connect. That will connect with the power and the authority of the king. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. A great moment in your life. A great moment in your life. The king is coming. Open the gate. The king is coming. Open the door. He's coming right now. He's coming right now. Don't tell me I've been going to church. Forget about that one. Open the gate and let the king of glory come in. Open the gate and let the king of glory come in. Who is this king of glory? It's Jesus Christ. The king of all power. Who is this king of glory? It's Jesus Christ. The king of our salvation. Who is this king of glory? It's Jesus Christ. The one that forgives our sin. Open the door now. Open the door now. Open the door now. The door of your heart. Burn the bridge behind you. Forsake what's behind you. And say, I follow Jesus. I follow Jesus. It's bowed and eyes closed. If you're coming to Jesus tonight. If it's going to be your savior tonight. Raise up that hand. Raise it up to heaven. Let heaven see that hand. Let the angels see that hand. Let the almighty God see that hand. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Raise up that hand. If you're raising that hand to heaven. And you're saying, Jesus, look at me here. Jesus, look at me here. I want the king of glory to come into my heart. You're raising up your hands. You will stand up. You will stand up. Lord Jesus, I come. Are you standing up because you want Jesus? To be the king of glory in your life. The king of power in your life. The king of salvation in your life. Don't kill us, I leave behind. All the juju I leave behind. All those evil things I leave behind. All the idols I leave behind. All those candles I leave behind. All that incense I leave behind. All that tradition I leave behind. Concubine, concubine, concubine. I leave all the concubines behind. I leave all the adultery behind. I leave all the fornication behind. Lord Jesus, I come. Lord Jesus, I come. The king is waiting for you. He wants to make you part of his family. He wants to make you part of his family. And you're saying, Lord, I come. And I will never go back again. Never go back anymore. Never, never, never go back. Never go back. I come. I come. I come. I come. King of glory. I open the gate. I open the gate. I open the gate. Come in. Come into my heart. Come in today. Come in to stay. I will never leave you. And I know you will never leave me. Forsake your sin. Forsake your sin. Forsake your sin. And then say, Lord, I believe. You died for me on the cross of Calvary. Lord, I believe. You died for me on the cross of Calvary. Now I'm saved. My sins are forgiven. My life has changed. I am adopted into the family of God. Come. 
and then remain with the Lord. Remain with the Lord. You will not go back to those idols anymore. You will not go back to those evil things anymore. I believe Jesus died for me. And I will not go back to evil anymore. Raise up your hand now. I'm going to pray with you. Raise up your hand. I'm going to pray with you. If you have come out and you have left all your sins behind. And you believe that Jesus is now your savior. He died for you to take your sins away. And whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever. Whosoever. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And you say, Lord, I believe. Now I am saved. Raise up that hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight. You have said, whosoever comes unto Christ, he will not cast away. These have come, forsaking their sin, forsaking darkness, forsaking evil, forsaking their wickedness. Lord, I pray, forgive them in Jesus' name. Write their names in the book of life. Adopt every one of them into the family of God. The family of the king. So they are now children of the king. And I pray, Lord, new life will come to them. Peace of mind will come to them. And the grace to go and see no more. Give unto everyone in Jesus' name. Confirm each in their hearts. Let your spirit be a witness with their hearts that they are now children of God. And as they go, they go in your victory. Righteousness. And you help them to be overcomers. A new life in them. And they will continue with Christ in the Bible believing church. Thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus name I pray. Praise the Lord. What a great day. A great day for you. A great day of power. A great day of miracle. A great day of signs and wonders. Can I see somebody that is going to receive a miracle? It's coming your way. You will carry miracle home. Your wife will see a miracle on you. Your husband will see the miracle on you. Your parents will see the miracle on you. They say, watch, what a wonder. Wonder, wonder, wonder. Wonder of the king. Coming in your life. With this connection going to come upon your life. Your blind eyes will open. Those lame legs will receive strength. Immediately. Straight away. Suddenly right now. When you hear the name of Jesus, power will come upon your life. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Why don't you rise up? You raise up one hand. You lay the other hand on yourself. And when you hear the name of Jesus, the king has broken the yoke. The king has removed the mountain. And then when you hear the final, Amen. You check up yourself. It is done. I said it is done. Get ready, it's coming. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for our King, the King of glory, the King of power, the King of all the earth, the King of righteousness, and is the King of peace. The king of the saints, the king with a great inheritance, with a great name, a great power, a great authority. I send that power upon your people right now. And I command those mountains come out in Jesus' name. That spirit of insanity and madness, I command that evil spirit come out in Jesus' name. That swelling in your body, that hunchback, elephantiasis, tumor in your belly, fibroid in your belly, goiter in your neck, I command that thing come out in Jesus' name. 
I pray for those who have cancer. You are healed right now. Cancer jumps, I command you, die off in Jesus' name. I pray for that person with ulcer. Be healed in Jesus' name. And that asthma, I command you. Be healed in Jesus' name. Is your blood dry up in Jesus' name? That pile, be healed in Jesus' name. Leprosy and skin disease, I command you. Be healed in Jesus' name. HIV AIDS, I command you. Be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for those who have arthritis. That stiffness in your joint, elbow, or in your shoulder, in your knees, or your ankle, or in your waist, I command that arthritis come out in Jesus' name. That short leg, I command the short leg to grow out in Jesus' name. Short hand, grow out in Jesus' name. With that hand, with that leg, receive strength now. Come alive in Jesus' name. And those who are paralyzed in any way, that stroke in your body, I command strength will come to you. Power will come to you. The power of the king raises you up now. Rise up in Jesus' name. Those deaf ears, I command it to be open. Deaf ears be open. And begin to hear in Jesus' name. Dumb tongues be loose right now. And begin to speak out. Speak out. Speak out. In Jesus' name. Those blind eyes, I command you to be open. Receive your sight. Dim eyes, receive your sight. Cataract, get out. Glaucoma, get out. Open those eyes and see in Jesus' name. Lord, any miracle your people need, touch them with power. Sweep away all the works of the devil. Break every chain. Destroy every yoke. Set your people free. Confirm it, O Lord. To my right, confirm it. To my left, confirm it. Far at the back, confirm it. There in the middle, confirm it. Over here in the front, confirm it. And everywhere you are hearing the sound of my voice. The miracle is confirmed in Jesus' name. You are healed. You are delivered. You are free. You will do what you are not able to do before. Lord, confirm it in every life. Thank you because I know it's done. In Jesus' name we pray.